Thank you, Mr. Speaker. During this summer's historically long 53-day recess, I heard from many in New York's capital region about Congress's failure to pass common-sense gun violence prevention measures. They wonder why nothing will be done after 93 days, the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day, where we witness unfathomable horrors like the worst mass shooting in modern American history in Miami, law enforcement's deadliest day since 9-11 in Dallas, and a gun homicide death toll of 4,100 Americans around the country. This is way beyond unacceptable. Each new report of a shooting, regardless of its scale, begs the question, what will it take for the House leadership to finally bring legislation to the floor that addresses the root cause of these tragedies? With more than 90 percent of Americans demanding congressional action to reduce gun violence, I'm certain my colleagues on the other side heard similar requests from their constituents last month, imploring all of us to take a stand against the national gun lobby and to fight to make all of our communities safer places in which to live. I urge my colleagues to listen to these voices and to join House Democrats in debating and ultimately passing legislation that will prevent dangerous individuals from purchasing firearms. With Gentlemen's time to I yield back. Gentlemen's time to expire.